What's good? We back with the Boxing Clinic. Good morning, your boy CJ Goodfella back on the Boxing Grind. Shout out to the homie Jeff. Wanted to know about what should be next for uh, Jarrell Fat Baby Miller. And if uh, he can compete with like Anthony Joshua at this point. And if that version left last night of Miller can uh, defeat Anthony Joshua. Um, even, no. Uh, I think he would have somewhat of a shot um, because he presses the action versus Anthony Joshua. Presses the action. And Joshua don't like to fight at a high pace. That would be Miller's only hope is to set the pace high, use his jab, um, attack Anthony Joshua's body, then come upstairs with with, with a right hand because his left and right hooks, <clears throat> excuse me, um, he slaps with him. He doesn't turn over the punch, and that's the issue. But I think his proactiveness of of, of being busy uh, will be his only hope at beating Anthony Joshua and a lot of body work in that right hand. And that jab right hand coming down the middle. Um, and probably he got an okay uppercut too. But, you know, as far as, you know, his form and technique of turning over the punches, it's sucking. He can't generate a lot of power. Luckily, with Anthony Joshua, you don't need a lot of power. You know, he ain't got no jaw. And uh, I think he's susceptible to the body. I've seen Joseph Parker touching with some uh, just above uh, love taps. And, you know, he was hurting Joshua. Like I said, I don't hold Joshua in the highest regards. But I would fully expect him, especially in the UK, to do enough to beat Jarrell Miller. You know, because Miller, you know, he fundamentally sucks as far as how he throws his punches. And that's why he don't generate a lot of power. But like I said, you don't need a lot of power to beat Anthony Joshua. You know, he's a China dog. And I don't care. I stand by that. Um, you know, a lot of people living in La La Land, you know, talking about, oh, he he, he easily def defeat Deontay Wilder. No, he won't. He lacking in every department as far as, as you know, except like fundamentals and just being a little bit uh, more fundamentally sound and keeping his hands at home and stuff of that nature. I'm talking about speed, power, uh, foot agility, foot speed in and out, um, using your height. And Wilder got him. You know, if he catch Wilder, I can see that, but he ain't even the biggest puncher in the world. I believe Luis Ortiz is a bigger puncher than Anthony Joshua. And just watching him just, you know, flatline and not continue to progress, it ain't, it ain't surprising. It ain't surprising me, but here got some uh, opponents I think Miller should fight. I don't believe he's still on the tier. I don't think he's close to the tier one level. I think he barely hanging on a, by by one arm and one finger being a tier two heavyweight. I think he's more of a tier three heavyweight in my opinion. And I think he should continue to fight some tier three heavyweights or potential heavyweights that haven't showed, you know, uh, they've been on that stage yet like him. Because I don't think he's going to be able to beat a Joseph Parker. I don't think he's going to be able to beat a Deontay Wilder or Anthony Joshua. Luis Ortiz or Alexander Povetkin, you know, not how he fighting. You know, he's a big guy. He seemed to got a good jaw. He seemed to got some good stamina. He good got some good punch output, but he ain't turning his punches over. He ain't stepping into him. He ain't generating a lot of power. So I don't see him even, you know, phasing them. You know, uh, he might, you know, can compete with Joseph Parker, but I think Parker will get him too. But you know, I think this is four guys that he he should be able to he should fight. Obviously, um, him and Stavern had some words before in the gym at the heavyweight factory where Shannon Briggs be at. Um, you know, Jarrell Miller told, you know, uh, Stavern, you was only a champion for a day. Stavern got mass with some history there. I know Stavern, you know, he got knocked out by Wilder. Um, I don't know if he came back yet, but at the end of the day, you know, he finished anyway. He might as well try to, uh, you know, cash in by beating Miller and move up the rankings, in my opinion. Charles Martin, he had a comeback fight not too long ago after the Joshua thing. Um, you know, he still ain't proven to be shit, and I think he would be a good stay busy fight for Miller. Um, they get him over there. Um, and I just think he needs to, 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 to keep working, man. Keep working. I don't I don't see the progression in Miller neither. You know, he's not turning his punches over. He's not punching hard. He, he's punching like a kickboxer, just slapping with punches and shit like that. Um, but I think Martin would be a good fight for him. I think those are two good victories from him, and I think he continues to need more developmental fights. I know he ranked high, but uh, rankings don't mean shit. They ain't going to tell you, you know, that he really ain't improving like that. Um, Trevor Bryan and Dylan White would be the tougher fights for him. I think Dylan White is, is you know, he's he's one of those, you know, overrated-ass fighters, too. Um, he was running for Miller. I don't know why. Maybe because Miller, 300 pounds, he don't feel like his punches, you know, um, will break Miller down, but I think he an okay body puncher. I think with some body shots in there, he might he might can get him. I mean, I think I think I would favor White in that fight if that White can can come up with the performance he came up with with Brown. But like I said, Brown is is a bum ass nigga. He, he sucked. Um, but 
Um, you know, I think Dylan White can get get Miller, man. Miller, funky baby Miller, like my boy, the bottom line, SW, Sandy Walton say, big funky cheeseburger Miller. It'll be a good fight. I don't know why why they straying from that fight, but uh, why why got some options as far as the IBF title living there and the WBC title living there. So I think that's the furthest one that can happen. And Trevor Bryan, I seen him spar on Mr. Boxing Today um, page. I linked that uh, video in the description. Y'all go subscribe to the brother. He all he do is talk heavyweight boxing. If you love heavyweight boxing, go subscribe to him. Trevor Bryan was doing some good work. Uh, I had seen him do interviews with my homie True School Sports BT. Y'all go subscribe to True School Sports. And uh, he can fight. You know, he might be one of the more skilled American heavyweights. I Man, he got some good head movement, good jab, good good right hand. I uh, just want to see him get on that level and get on that stage. And I think he can uh, box with Big Baby Miller. I don't know if he can kick 304 pounds off of him, but he was doing well in sparring. Like I said, I linked that video in the description. But uh, Miller ain't ready for the uh, tier one heavyweights. And I, I say Pavekin, Ortiz, Wilder, Joshua right now, and the French one, two, and Joseph Parker. I don't think he can beat any of those. And if he can beat any of those, it'd probably be Joseph Parker. Um, by the hair is chinny chin chin. Uh, I think he need to stay to the tier three, tier two type heavyweights right now. But we gone.